Hello YouTube, uh, this is going to be part three of my Dewalt van racking. Um, this is just going to be a really quick video um, just to answer a couple of questions that some people sent me in the comments and to show you just a couple of little things I changed. So um, uh, if you haven't seen my first video, there will not be a link in the top right hand corner because I still haven't got a clue how to do that. So just tap on Ziggy's Refurbs. Go down to the bottom it's the first video i posted and that'll be a full run through of how i've set up my van so question number one that was asked was how i made this little cubby so uh it's actually really quite simple so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna pause the video because i don't know how to edit yet um and i'll take that out and i'll quickly show you and we're back okay so this is the little cubby i've made so all i did was I took the little card that comes out the door. So take the card that comes out the door. That's just that's your template. That's your template for the front. Simple as that. So you can mark out your holes, mark out the side. I made this just out of scrap I had laying around. 12 mil ply I think it was. I was laying around. And uh yeah just simply uh glued it together. So what I did was uh, put little dabs of Mitofix um, and then bigger dabs of wood glue. Mitofix would hold it together instantly and then give it give time for the wood glue to set. And then I cut in, you can see these little slots, I cut in just there. It's just to go in where the metalwork curls round, just to make it as big as possible so it goes in and then it can sit up like that. And then yeah, so that's how I did for that. I had to recess the holes just for the little tabs that lock it into place. I had to recess the holes, but that worked perfectly. Okay, now question number two was my false floor. People have asked me how I fix it down. So, um, in my van, I had the tie-down points, which were actually on the floor of the van. So all I've done is my first sheet of ply I worked out the size of how it's going to be marked out the holes for where those tie down points were where the where they bolted down and literally just bolted it to those tie down points or where they were so um, it's just it's bolted down in four places um, and then built upwards from there so uh, if i wanted to i could strip this all back and it'll be exactly how it was from the factory no glue no screws uh nice and simple um i suppose that will come in handy to anyone who leases a van and needs to be returned at the end of the lease needs to be returned um back in original condition so that's it's that's how sim that's how i did mine nice and simple a um, couple of little things I did change was I've mounted my torches on my racking um, on little um, little tabs there that are what I don't know those 3D printers that I bought off eBay because I had to make room for a new tool. So I had to make room because they did live in this drawer. So, but I had to make room for new tool, um, new jigsaw, barrel grip jigsaw with a Collins coping foot. Uh, if you do a lot of coping, highly recommend getting one of these. It makes it so much easier. So yeah, I had to make room. So I had to put my torches somewhere else. And that's, I'm quite happy with how they're sitting there. And then the other thing I changed was um, I used to carry all my electrical bits and pieces in one of my boxes um, and I didn't always carry it, didn't always need it, but there are too many times came up where I needed to do a little bit of electrical work. I am not a sparky in any way, shape or form, but there has, there has come plenty of times where I'm doing a kitchen, I'm doing something, there's a socket or a light um, that needs alterations. So I've got my little go bag with testers, um, socket tester, bits and pieces, 
Um, actually made this one. I know you can buy these, but I had bits laying around at home, so I just made it. So I had to have a little to-go bag just to do some quick testing, little alterations for electrics if I need to do it. Um, and one other thing I did do, people are going to see the tool pouches hanging up there. I'm not going to go into that now because that's just part of my tool vest. Um, so, and uh, I will probably go into that into another video. Um, so, yeah, that's that's it for now. If if other people have any more questions, happy to post another video to uh, answer any questions that people have. People are just curious about how I've done things, and that's fine. So. Thanks for that everyone and uh, have a good day.